Hi, my name is Nate Medina, and today the case I'll be talking about is State vs. Jancy. In this case, Pete Jancy, who is a defendant, accompanied his roommate, Diane Anderson, and another roommate of his, to Diane's ex-husband's house. The husband's name is Rex, and as they arrived at the Rex's house, they decided to mess with his car. While they were messing with the car, Diane went up to the house to distract Rex by talking to him at the front door. And Pete and the other roommate went to stab holes in Rex's tires and put sugar in the gas tank. While Diane and Rex were talking, Diane threatened damage to his car, and she said that there may even be people doing it now. Hearing this, Rex's roommate went out of the house to check on the car, and that is where he saw Pete with a knife stabbing holes in the tires and the other roommate putting sugar in the gas tank. After he saw this happening, he yelled at Pete and the other roommate and then decided to chase them as they ran down the street. Seeing this, Rex decides to join in the chase and ends up chasing after Pete, who is still holding onto a knife in his hand. Pete runs down a bicycle path that had a lot of vegetation and jumps into a bush to hide from Rex. What Pete didn't know is that Rex saw this and decided to jump in the bush after Pete. Rex, without knowing that Pete was still holding the knife, started to fight him, and as they rolled all over the ground, Rex was stabbed in the stomach by Pete. At the trial, Pete claims that he did not intend to stab Rex, and it happened by accident. The Circuit Court of Klamath County convicted Pete of assault in the second degree, but Pete decided to appeal his charge. The Court of Appeals held that Pete knew he had a dangerous weapon and that a confrontation was going to occur, but that he did not intend to stab the victim. Therefore, Pete acted recklessly, but not knowingly, and the court changed the charge to assault in the third degree rather than assault in the second degree. State versus Jancy is an important case because it shows that in intentionally and unintentionally causing harm has two different punishments. I think that this case was not judged correctly at first, but when the Court of Appeals changed the ruling, it was the right decision because he did not knowingly cause harm to the victim. This is all for my case brief on State vs. Jancy.